Hi there. Wow. <laughs> nice to see you all. I'm obviously feeling much better. Miraculous news. Uh, my lung scans came back clean. There was something on the MRI, and then all of a sudden, there was nothing on the x-ray. Um, my doctors think it was a combination of dysautonomia and my mast cell flaring up. I guess when you have dysautonomia, you have a hard time mounting a fever. And so I guess I had some bug, but it wasn't COVID. So that's that news. Um, the other news is I met with my hematologist and I met with um, my OBGYN. So here is the news. We are not starting with a hysterectomy. We are starting with a hysteroscopy. Here is how this is going down. So first off, the hematologist. The hematologist talked to me and we had my blood drawn by the OBGYN three weeks before and then we had the drip blood drawn by the hematologist. Now, the, my ferritin and iron dropped about 50 points in between then before I met with the hematologist and he um, learned about all of the anaphylaxis and all of this stuff and he said if your levels get down to like if your ferritin gets down to five again I don't know what we're going to do I don't know what fusion to give you infusion to give you like I don't know what we'll do um obviously but like good luck obviously you need to talk to the OBGYN whatever you need to do do it quick because <laughs> your levels are dropping um keep in touch next day talk to the OBGYN um, I had his, uh, my ultrasound done, done on my uterus, and we found a polyp, um, which I wasn't expecting. Now, she says, we need to do the hysteroscopy before we even consider the hysterectomy, because insurance will not even consider doing the hysterectomy without trying something first. So, obviously, um, we are doing the hysteroscopy. Here's the thing. I've been bleeding like this since before this polyp was there. Now, I know this because my uterus, I had a um, ultrasound done back in 2013 and I had my appendix out. I was bleeding long before like this, long before 2013. Um, and I told her this and she's like, well, they're not going to cover the hysterectomy. I said, okay. She said, so we're going to do the hysterectomy, hysteroscopy, remove the polyp and wait a couple cycles and then come back. And if you're still bleeding like this, then we'll consider the hysterectomy. Even the last time she was like, yep, let's do it. Um... And the thing is, is like, if my levels are already dropping, we do the hysteroscopy and we wait a couple cycles, what happens then? What happens then? You know? Uh, what happens if <laughs> wait a couple cycles, get worse, and um, my levels are low, then I need an infusion and a hysterectomy? She didn't really address those concerns, so we're cautiously optimistic here. Cautiously optimistic that this might solve the problem. My surgery is January 26th, so next Tuesday. This coming Tuesday. This coming Tuesday. Because um, it had to be done in between cycles, and I was like, I'm not going to wait another whole cycle for my levels to drop even lower. Let's do it. It's a day surgery. Still don't have a handicap ramp in my house, so I will have to crawl into my house after the surgery. Sounds great. Um... Yeah, I'm a little frustrated by this, but um, we're doing the best we can. Um, my menstrual cycle is definitely causing a lot of issues. Um, even if I have my hysterectomy, though, my hormones are still going to affect me with my mast cell activation syndrome. That's the one thing I need to realize because I will still have my ovaries. If we remove my ovaries... Um, I will go into menopause early and do not want to do that at my age. I will really wreak havoc on my body. So if I did have the hysterectomy, we would remove everything but the ovaries. But right now we're doing the hysteroscopy, which is just going in and removing the polyp from my uterus. So, um, and it was a decent size one, she said. We still have not heard from the neurosurgeon, but we went with uh, Dr. Fraser Henderson Still waiting to hear back from that referral. Still have not heard from John Hopkins. Um, still waiting to hear back from that referral. Um, I think I will make some phone calls this week. Still waiting to hear. Um, 
my PT and OT officially stopped today, which was sad, but I got approval on my wheelchair, uh, which is really exciting. So um, I officially will get my electrically powered wheelchair, the one that I showed you guys on here. Um, so I will be getting that sometime soon in the next couple months. So that will give me some freedom, which was really exciting news. Um, so yeah, peace, love, and cookie monster, you guys. That's the newest update. I have to get my COVID test for my pre-procedure. Let's go tickle my brain, you guys. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you're staying stealth. <laughs> Hope you're staying safe. Hope you're healthy. Sending spoons, sending love.